Hi, my name is Grace. I'm back with another reaction video, and today I'm going to be doing Bon Bon Chocolat by Everglow, which is my favorite debut from this year. Um, they had no reason to go this hard with this debut. Concept on point, they're looking unique, like you can set them apart from every other group that debuted. The song slaps, choreography amazing. And obviously this isn't gonna be like a first reaction like my videos normally are, but I just wanna talk about this dance because it's incredible and I think I should just get right into it. Go. That opening formation. So good. The bass in this song is incredible. I love that interaction between the two girls. Um, I really don't know their names, sorry. Um, but that interaction between the two girls, you don't normally like see that in choreography. The only, really the only thing I can kind of think of is Blood, Sweat and Tears, um, Yoongi and Taeyong, and then um, Picky Picky by Weki Meki. But still, <laughs> incredible, love it. I love seeing interaction between members instead of them all seeming like they're separate. They use their members so well. Ah, there it is. This choreography is iconic, Jesus Christ. Let's talk about that chorus. First of all, that drop, the first time it hits anybody, it's like, you don't know what hit you. You don't know what hit you when that, when that beat drops because it's so out of the blue and it's so unique. I've never heard anything like this song. And um, the choreography, this, I have no idea what this means. Could mean like a chocolate, like a bonbon chocolat. It means good, good chocolate in French. Um, this could be like bonbon chocolat, like chef kiss. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. But this and then you don't see girl groups really get low like that. That's really a boy group thing where they drop into that second position, that deep like modern jazz second position and kind of thrust. That's a really boy group thing. To see, to see a girl group do that is kind of rare and to own it the way uh, Everglow does during that choreography, I, I love it. But they keep the grace when they do it. And they're kind of mixing sexy dances, you know, when you drop it low and kind of throw it back. They do that a lot in this dance, but it's not overtly sexual. I also like how throughout the choreography, the girls who have lines do something different while continuing the choreography. They do a different step. And I know I call a lot of groups and choreographers out for doing this, hiding a member. Um, they, you do that when you have an even number of people and you want to have a center, but since you have an even number of people, someone has to be covered, has to be covered. But um, I think in this video, it, uh, the one of the girls who's in the back gets covered during formations where there's a center because they're filming it kind of low from the floor, so you're seeing upwards. But if you're watching from an audience stage, you can see them because the girl in front is bending down low. So I'm kind of going to give that one a pass because I've seen the live stages of this and you can see the girl in the back. Oh, 
and I love that I love that canon of the girls going uh, doing that jump up then down I love the canon the musicality in this dance is incredible oh and <laughs> I keep pausing this I I'm gushing about this song and this choreography but um, Something that's different from the first chorus to the second chorus. The second chorus omits some of the um, music, like actually a layer of music is missing that was in the first chorus. So there's a differentiation between the first and second chorus. You can hear the difference. I don't know if anybody really knows what I'm talking about, but if you listen with headphones as many times as I have, you'll, you'll hear it. And it just gives a different feeling. And it's like when they do, when they turn their leg in, when they're in that low second, they, um, it's like they're going slow and then their knee kind of snaps in quicker. Like it's a little differentiation in um, accent. The, they're going slow hit, slow hit. Like it's, it's, oh, it's genius. I know I can't remember the name of the choreographer, but I know she did a video with them, but Props to her. Here we go. Using their head as the accent. Ugh. Get them, ladies. And I love how they're all doing different things there when they do the hype up sort of move. And changing it up for the end. You can tell the ending is gonna be the climax. Ooh, and look. Everybody can be seen, even though there's an even number of members. That's the team. And I'm a bitch for formations. I, I love it. I, I, can, can, can you please shut up? Thank you. Okay. Oh, like, I, I love that song. I love that dance. And because it's, it's just unique. It's something I've never seen before. And it's stunning. Like, the music video, I love the music video because there's a strong concept and their aesthetic is, it just fits my aesthetic. I like it a lot. But that dance is so unique and just something I've never seen from a girl group before and I've never seen it from a boy group. It crosses that line, even though it's not like, okay, it's not like in the way Astro was technically advanced, Everglow's dance was not technically advanced in that way but the nuances of their dance are so advanced like the grace they keep in their arms that's like this keeping kind of sort of like a ballet ish arm um it's hard to learn because you know there's a there's a sequential movement from your shoulder blade through your arm and they keep that gracefulness while also keeping that sort of kind of street style sexy choreography that's a blur of styles and it's so cool and the it's I could go on forever about the song like I just love the song and you know the hiding the member you can see all of the members all of the time I just I love it I love it so much <laughs> 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.